for three minutes and 45 more seconds. Okay? I've already broken the record. <laughs> and two more minutes. And two more, well, dude, I promise you. I promise you I can do a whole hour. But that's not what we're going to do. I have two more. I want to bring y'all back up to something funny because I wasn't trying to depress you. I was trying to tell you something. I was just trying to tell you something. And I wish, I promise you, I, I really, I, fuck it. I mean, well, here we are. We're all adults. I was not really interested in sex that night. And I don't know if she was interested in sex that night, but she showed up with a line, uh, the red lingerie and we would have spent more time if I had been interested in sex. <laughs> but apparently what she really, really wanted to do was talk. And I really, if I had known, I would have shared that with her. Because I think she should have known that. You know? Hmm? Bless you. Funny. I'm going to do something funny. Then he told me to do market, and then I'll be done. That's what we were discussing. I don't really like doing market for, you know, just a general crowd, <laughs> but that's where we were having our powwow, diatribe, anything <laughs> about it. But I'll do it. But before I do market, I'll do something to make you laugh. Just to make you laugh. Because y'all are all looking depressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I mention, oh shit, here's this. This actually might even set up the other thing. So Mike has my CDs and DVDs and my books right there. You don't do you. You don't see them do you. because they're not there. Yeah. But I have books and CDs and DVDs and all that shit. Does anybody want a CD or like? Am I just fucking talking from the anywhere? No, I want a CD. I'll take one. Perfect. They say if you drop a marble into a bucket in the first year of a relationship every time you have sex, and you take one marble out of that same bucket every time you have sex after the first year, there will always be marbles left. How many of y'all got that, Virginia? Mm. I'm going to say it again. You don't it. Talk to the people who have their hands up. Okay. No, if you ask them what the hell I was talking about. I'm sorry about the F word that I keep using. I'm from Jersey. We do that. You ever, you ever seen The Sopranos? It's just, yeah, yeah. Yes. I <laughs> they say if you drop a marble in the bucket in the first year of a relationship every time you have sex and you take one marble out of that same bucket every time you have sex after the first year, there will always be marbles left. <laughs> There's a thin line between the neurotic and erotic, doing wild things to a woman in bed and waking up feeling sorry about it. As for, have I ever done anything freaky in bed? Hell yeah, if she allowed it. As for, will I ever regret it, knowing me? I doubt it. <laughs> now, 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 have I given her a bath or a shower? Coming out, that would be like a third date. Then a massage with oil or baby powder. Look, don't bite your tongue with me. See, that would be a mistake. You want to ask me something? Y'all do realize this is fucking live entertainment, right? <laughs> like I asked, do, would you like to ask me something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would y'all like to ask me something? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you want to do it? Y'all are kind of dry. I'm sorry. Ask me. Up my fingers on her breasts and then massage into her, into her nipples. I did the same thing to her behind so that it simultaneously stung and tickled. And when her behind had enough candle wax and it no longer felt good or hurt, asked me if I gave a back shot so sharp that the wax shot up into the air like fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> As for did I go down on her? See, now you got me all wrong. 
an amateur would have gone down on her. Me? I sat her right up on top of my tongue where she belonged. <laughs> where she could not get away. Where she had to just settle in for the day. But if my biceps wrapped around her thighs, she just closed her eyes and enjoyed the ride the whole way. My ego does not need to be fed just from the record everything that makes it hot inside my head and do things that no human beings would dream can be done between two people in a bed. But that's still accumulating marbles. They, they say long-term relationships are made up of three things. Engagement rings, wedding rings, and suffer rings. They say you can judge the stage of a long-term relationship by the number of rooms you fuck through. See, in the beginning, you fuck all through the house. In the middle, you just fuck in the bedroom. And in the end, you pass each other in the hallway and say, fuck you. <laughs> but listen, lover, let's just say that was the first three days that we covered. Perhaps you and I could rap a taste about how persistent bliss could be discovered. I mean, 40 years from now, I hope we could still share the same covers. We'd be like 70 years old with doggy style and we'd be going to out of each other. Mm -hmm. And, and we could even cruise hotels if you think would help to change the venue. We could break headboards all across the globe and slide the covers on the floor and just continue. And I play sexual healing, slide out my dentures, <laughs> and put the fear of my gums in you, and do some room service role play between Gregory McCares with an X rated menu and we would still do 69s at 99. <laughs> While I scream, say, this pussy is mine. <laughs> and, then, and if we're fortunate, perhaps you and I will get to come and go at the same time. My time transcendent lover keeping me hard into my tomorrows. Losing my years is a beautiful thing, but baby, it's even better when I'm also losing my marbles. All right, two things before I, no, 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 stop. I hate to be anticlimactic, but stop. <laughs> Just two things. You sure? Yes. Okay. And where is the party after this? <laughs> is it possible, Joy? Absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> So I'm going to leave y'all with this 96 second poem <laughs> that was requested. I already broke the record, I know. No, no, I'm trying to see if it's 96 seconds. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but I'm from Jersey. Like, if it's not, what you going to do about it? <laughs> anyway. Uh, ready? Yes. Ready. Oh. Oh. Here, help him with that. <laughs> Y'all should buy my CD because I used to sell crap. <laughs> Amen. It's, it's very interesting. I like, because sometimes people laugh. No, set him up with that table with that. It's funny because sometimes people laugh and sometimes people look at me like they remember me being like the crack dealer when they block or some shit. Like, like they kind of look at you like, hey, you know, I'm taller, but. So I like when people laugh because it's a point to make a point. And then it wasn't important until the young dude came to me in Virginia and said, I sell crack now! Like, like we had a connection and shit. But it's a poem. Y'all should buy my CD because I got shot three times through the three to nine and all that. Wait. Sorry.
Y'all should buy my CD because I used to sell crack. Y'all okay. should buy my CD because I got shot three times at the three to nine and all that. See, there's a market for niggas. There's a, there's a market for niggas that target figures that purchase $100,000 jewelry. And, and $200,000 automobiles don't fool me. I know pain when I see it. And he, he'd probably rather give it all away and steady sign his life away just to realize that a million dollars is a small price for him to pay for his dignity. And I suppose if I earned $100,000 a show that had already been spent on security, entourage, groupies, and blow, it wouldn't be that sweet. And I hope that presence I live while he realizes it's not that black people don't like positivity. It's simply that people don't have disposable income to purchase tons of CDs. But, but little rich white kids buy CDs 10 at a time. And the more ignorant the nigga, the more they get to piss off their mom. So if the song calls his mother a sister a bitch or says he's willing to kill his brother in order to get rich, it just makes it even better. The, the bigger the money, the bigger the monkey. Just throw cash at her. Watch her take off her dress. Just throw cash at him. Watch him expose his chest. So there y'all. Right now, there's a prostitute that blow in order to take her mind off while she earns her living. So where y'all? Right now, there's a rapper slipping blow in order to take his mind off while he earns his living, but, but there's a market for niggas. And, and spoken word is the shit, but poems don't buy big homes, and poems don't light up best, and it might be nice to make all y'all jealous of my bank account, but what's more important is that my mother's respect. Yeah. It's priceless. And, and it used to be back in the days you could cover your face with black face and red lipstick. And black people would hate you, but truly get riches. Take a picture poking out your lips, you can win them. Guarantee your show is selling. But nowadays, if you're effectively rapping by gun clap, another black men say no more, nigga. You platinum. With half a dozen racist billionaires willing to back them. Y'all told me how the city different than back then. The more he shows his drawers, the more he gets applause and he's willing to play the role of society savage and society will make him a star because there's a market for niggas. Just, just write some bullshit. <laughs> there's money to be made in convincing black people that Joe Scott does not exist. Because if a young girl knows she's golden, she won't allow herself to be called no bitch. And it's only common sense that if you take away her self-confidence, she'll believe that dropping it like it's hot for a soldier is an accomplishment. And if it'll increase your man's chances of going to jail, they're promoted. I guarantee everybody at Nexus right now, a thousand dollars, your record is sell as long as it sounds like Willie Lynch wrote it. Just focus on being a stereotype. Like you wake up every morning just dying to fight, just, just snapping pictures of stacking riches and clapping triggers and smacking bitches. You wanna get this started? Fuck your pride, nigga, just act retarded. You think I'm playing? As long as white folk got money, there's a market. But niggas, thank y'all for listening to me.